So we are on step 8.3, where we're going to install the two pulleys onto the lead screws for the Y axis. So we have our um, tools and parts we needed right here. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is thread in the lead screw the rest of the way. And you're going to get to a point where it stops, where it's bottomed out on the bearing. And in this case, I have to turn it a little further because the uh, flat spot on the lead screw is not in the right spot. So I'm just going to keep turning it so that I can get it on. Now I'm going to install the washer first. Now there's a uh, kind of a rough edge or matte side and then a uh, more shiny side. You want that shiny side to match up with the face of the bearing. Okay. And now I'm going to install the pulley onto, make sure it's seated nicely against that washer. And I'm going to Tighten it down, but I still want the pulley to be able to turn. So it's turning in that little spot on the lead screw right now. Okay. So now I can add the nut onto the end of the lead screw here. And I'm going to use the Allen wrench in the set screw to hold the lead screw as I tighten down this nut. And what I'm going to be doing is tightening it so that it's touching and putting just a little bit of resistance on the pulley. We don't need to tighten it down firmly, okay? So I have it tightened and the thing I want to be able to do is still be able to turn this pulley a little bit. So this is good. So I can, I can hold that nut in place and I can turn this so it's just providing a little bit of resistance on the pulley. So now I can tighten this down the rest of the way. So now the set screw is tight and the pulley moves easily. So the other thing to make sure is that when you first bottomed out that lead screw that it's still set like that because if you hold on to the lead screw you don't want to have any kind of wiggle room back and forwards. So I just completed step 8.4 which is to align the gantry. Since the gantry is at the front of the machine right now, uh, you can just use any kind of fixed width object to measure it or a pair of calipers. Okay, so I have that set. So now I'm doing step 8.5, which is installing the belt. So when you do this, you want to make sure I just loop it around this first because it's a little tricky to get around. And I'm going to hold this pulley in place so it doesn't turn, hold tension across the belt, and then get it onto the other pulley. And now it goes, slips down around the motor, and then just hold that in place to lift it up over the adjustment. Then the belt is on, and with this loose, you can put some tension on the belt. You don't want it to be overly tight. That's a little bit too much right there. Okay, that is good. So for the tension on the belt, you want to be able to press it down in the center 
and touch the other side of the belt without a lot of resistance um, it's actually going to be kind of on the looser side so if you think of it like a guitar string you don't want it tight like a guitar string uh, sits you want it a little bit to the looser side so now with the gantry aligned I'm able to move the machine so what you want to be able to do is this should be smooth enough to allow you to move the machine back and forth smoothly not a lot of resistance and you should be able to move it without it pushing the machine on the table.